Hi, this is Ed Moten from ERM Performance Tuning, and we are so, so excited about it. introducing our new version 2.0 training material. Um, it's been a long time coming. I know we've been hearing a lot about it, um, but we finally, finally got it all done. It's been through checking, and uh, we're going to give a brief uh, video just to try to give you a little taste of what the changes have been, uh, which I'm sure you're all going to love. So we open up with um, just an introduction, which basically will uh, describe the various different means by which we can uh, provide training to you. Uh, there are various different um, means of being able to provide it, but the overall tutorial course is kind of made up of three pieces. Um, there's an 11 course uh, module, which uh, you're kind of familiar with. I think we had seven or eight in the uh, 1.3, uh, but these are PDF version, um, narratives which will basically provide just a wealth of information more so than we had covered in 1.3. Um, some of the things that were the same but got updated were the EFI management systems and sensors and fuel supplies and things of that nature, but we did add a few new brand new um, modules. Ignition and Spark is another one, is one of the ones that we added. Uh, HP Tuner's Editor and Scanner has been greatly increased as far as its functionalities and things that you could do with that filtering. Uh, the Gen 3 and Gen 4 Adaptive Idle, uh, which basically shows you all the theory of operation has been, uh, there's been some updates to that as well to try to uh, increase some of the clarity and things relative to that. Uh, three new modules, which we're really proud of. Uh, there's the HP Tuners Enhanced OS and Patches. This basically goes through all the different options that you have as far as um, multi-bar type operating systems to uh, to handle your forced induction uh, setups, as well as uh, patches, which are kind of important, uh, similar to like the E40, which requires a patch for the math. Um, in the E40, if you go beyond the uh, limits, it'll actually revert itself back to zero hertz, and uh, that's that can be very bad, seeing as there's no <laughs> there's no air in that area there, so you go dead lean instantly. So there are some patches to correct that. Um, and then the last two, which are the ones we're really the most proud of, and, and I know everybody's been asking for this, and that is, uh, hey, well, how about some step-by-step -step tuning uh, information? And so we've done that. So Module 10 basically talks about the various different tuning strategies that we have and then goes through a base tune development. Um, basically, every table that there is in uh, the editor is addressed, what it does, and what exactly we want to do to it to, to get it set up for either a stock tune or simple bolt-on tune or even a large cam uh, tune, which there's some tables that have been now provided to help you uh, determine what values need to be installed for that. And that will get you into a startup tune. And then 11 is where it all comes to play. This is where we actually go through the tuning procedures and uh, we develop a strategy up front as far as open loop, closed loop, long-term fuel trims. We in include that into our uh, base tune and then we go off and we there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to do math tuning and VE tuning and idle. Well, the idle tuning actually is done in the adaptive idle area, uh, but the math and VE is done in, in module 11. Uh, you are familiar with the videos that we have embedded, and they basically will continue as well. Um, we didn't get to add any new ones to this particular uh, version, but one of the things that we did add uh, in light of the videos is there are six PowerPoint presentations that have now been addressed within each one of the modules, specific modules, and they're they're pretty extensive. Um, mod the first PowerPoint presentation is called Advanced DFI and Tuning, and what this basically does is if anybody's taken the actual one-on-one -on -one face to face, they'll, they'll have experienced this. This is something that goes from EFI sensors and everything and just explains exactly how our systems operate, uh, what VE is, what MAF is, all the other things that are uh, that are important to us. And there's actually a, an important section in there on uh, end of injection timing as well as and references to our new tool set that we have for calculating that. So there's a lot of information as far as the basic operation and the intermediate operation of how things work. Uh, the wideband setup has been somewhat uh, cleaned up and, and added a little bit too from the previous uh, versions. 
Uh, scanner filter has been greatly updated and includes a lot more information on how to set up filtering and things of that nature. And uh, the uh, the one that we're most proud of is the strategy in base tune development. This is the one you've been asking for. This is a step-by-step, table-by-table review and approach to tuning each specific table, um, both Gen 3, Gen 4, and we do talk about a lot for forced induction or NA or CAM work as well, and provides with uh, values that, that will start the tune um, up for you. So you get a good starting point as you go off. And then the last two basically are what we call the math tuning and the VE tuning. And those will provide detailed procedures for each one of those that you'll do to take your base tune and develop it into a, a complete tune for you. So um, that's basically what the setup is. So along with that, is just to try to sweeten the pot and to give something that nobody else will ever think about giving it. We're also throwing in uh, for this training course uh, uh, two hours of our one-on-one -on -one interactive support, which I know a lot of you have uh, already experienced. And that basically allows us to, uh, to work together one-on-one -on -one and uh, just address any issues that you may have or uh, any questions that may come up as a result of going through the uh, the product as well. So um, that certainly will help you a lot. Now, I, I have a warning that's in here, and the warning basically says is that if you're looking for something that's just going to tell you what to put, what value to put in what table, this may not be the course for you. This course is intended to teach you the workings of the EFI system, how it interfaces to the PCM, and basically to formulate tuning strategies and values as a result of what you know, not what you're being told. Um, we do uh, integrate an awful lot of instructions, tying it back to the HP Tuners Editor and Scanner so that you basically can utilize those tools to your to the most effective means and provide you with uh, the greatest chances of success in your tune. Um, the, uh, the modules themselves have been set up so that um, one through nine basically takes you through a learning process. And, and I know it is a little lengthy, but again, the idea here is to build, build up your knowledge base so that you will have a sufficient understanding of what's going on so you'll be able to recognize why things are happening and what to do about them. Um, the modules basically go through just about every aspect of the training that, that of the tuning rather that that we need to address right everywhere's from uh, we talked about the math the VE airflow including the math that that the PCM is 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 performing so that you get a better understanding of you know why the commanded AFR is what it is and things of that nature so that you're not just uh, being told what to put into a specific area. Uh, there's a large area of, of injector selection and tune data uh, that uh, that will help you uh, better make choices as to what um, injectors to pick for what particular application. Uh, the end of injection timing, there's been a lot of write-ups on that through the forum and things of that nature, but in this particular case, we're going to utilize a tool that we developed, which is, it is a little bit manual. There are probably some, some neater ones out there, but they do graphically represent the, the CAM events and the injection points uh, so that you can uh, provide updates to the, uh, the stock values there, which will help you out. Um, as we said, there's huge sections on the editor and the scanner. There's um, nice new material added for the virtual volumetric efficiency tuning, as well as the virtual torque model tuning, which kind of they kind of go hand in hand um, as far as uh, being able to uh, set up things. Special section on torque management, how to get rid of it, and how to turn it down, um, things of that nature, um, and all of the things that we kind of talked about uh, previously. Modules 10 and 11 will then address the specifics for the tuning as we talked about. Um, in this particular case, you're going to be uh, addressing the open and closed loop, the long-term field trims, whether you're gonna use them or not, and just all of the different things that are, that are necessary in order for you to tune your vehicle. 
Uh, we talked about the step-by-step -step procedures that are included. Um, will greatly improve your ability to understand exactly what tables are being changed and why. Uh, there's a section on scaling your tune. Uh, in some particular cases, you may need to do some uh, things to your files as a result of uh, large injectors and and, and uh, lower hard-coded limits that your particular operating system might be supporting at that point. So we go through that. Uh, we also added a whole new section on the fuel system control module, which is something new that HP Tuners has given us control of again. Um, so there's a whole thing on how to program that, what it does, how it works, and uh, you'll be able to um, to use that specifically for if you're doing an NA to say an LSA swap, uh, you can actually reprogram the uh, FSCM to uh, to look just like a ZL1 or a ZR1, and and basically preclude ha either having to add a BAP or or you know being stuck with lean uh, conditions because you don't have enough fuel pump at that point. So uh, that's a, that's a pretty neat section that you'll like as well. Um, the other thing is is that um, there's also in the in the introduction is a way of being able to download the material. The material basically sits up in a Dropbox uh, uh, folder, and when you buy uh, the course, we basically provide you with a link, and that link will then give you access to all of the files that are that are contained in there. Uh, there's a specific download type um, format that we recommend and what that does is it allows for each of the modules to be able to address its internally bedded hyperlinks that we use um, as we go through each module we provide for you to open up various different files to help support what we're trying to uh, to go through for that particular area also in there is going to be the PowerPoint presentations which we talked about and then also uh, as you're well familiar with in the 1.3 version we have what we call the tuner accessory um, package which contains all of the Excel worksheets calculators things of nature LSA information just general things that are going to help you as a tuner uh, do your job. We've just added some new averaging sheets for VE and math, which will really help you be able to take two or three sessions of, of logging and be able to integrate those into one change. So that, that should make your uh, math and VE tuning go much, much quicker as well. So uh, pretty much that's it as far as the introduction goes. Um, you do have several different options as far as uh, going about how to learn in this, right? So what we talk about is is that we've got detailed writings in the modular form, which we basically, you can go through, and it's like reading any tutorial that you've seen before, as well as 1.3. We have the embedded videos that help reinforce the written portions of it, and the new PowerPoint presentations are there. They're more like a classroom dissertation and basically provide for you the, the main facts and, and issue, or, or I should say, topics relative to each of the uh, items that are being addressed at that point. One of the more important things to this whole course is that you, you have the ask the author, as we call it. And that what that means is you have direct access to the, to the writers and the, to the people that, uh, that have uh, taken the time to prepare this for you. So uh, that's kind of important. And, and then obviously the uh, formal one-on-one uh, -on -one interactive training is yet another step that you can take, which would allow for us to actually help you along as you're going through the process. Um, what I usually recommend is, is that you go through the material once by yourself, uh, get as much of it as you possibly can. And then if there's areas that you're uncomfortable with or just don't seem to be understanding, which is which is understandable. I mean, this is not a simple thing. Then we can set up uh, custom curriculums uh, based on the specifics of what you're looking for, or you can go through the whole training A to Z. Um, but there's a training questionnaire that's been provided to you as well for you to fill out uh, after you've gone through the material. And, and what that does is it allows us to understand what what your knowledge foundation is to begin with so that we can better tailor a custom curriculum for you so that we're not going through material that you may already know. So you get maximum efficiency from uh, from the way it goes. Um, so 
this basically is our new approach to what we're doing. Uh, we've given you many opportunities, I think, to pick one that best suits your needs. Um, we, we do look forward to questions if you have any as a result of this introduction, and we certainly will feel uh, honored with your uh, even critiquing uh, what we have because your feedback is important to us, and we are looking to make this as extensive a uh, training package that, that exists today, and we're very proud of what, what we're trying to do here. Um, so in closing, in this particular version 2.0, uh, we are talking about uh, over 300 pages of detail, detailed information. There's over two hours of video and PowerPoint presentations. Uh, it contains now the actual presentation that we go through for our two-day training courses that we provide. Um, and based on, I'm sure, from the outside world, <coughs> the um, what you would pay for this from some of the other uh, providers, uh, we're, we're basically establishing a, a package price of $199.95. And while maybe in the beginning that sounds like a little bit much, um, I will tell you that in order to get comparable uh, training would probably cost you more in the eight to $900 for uh, some of the other um, training courses <clears throat> that are available to you at this point. And in addition to that, we do provide you with complimentary two hours of one-on-one -on -one interactive training, which in, in today's market for us is about a $90 value. So so really technically at the end of the day, you're only getting, you know, it's only costing $100, which is about the price that it was previously. So um, hopefully it's cost effective for you. I think it's uh, certainly, uh, been priced so that we can get as many people on board with this and get them basically to be independent of, of other tuners and things so you can do your own and, and make your vehicle operate the, the way that you want it to operate. Um, you can visit our website directly after this has been released and the ordering is very simple. Um, after that, you'll receive a link from the um, uh, from us, which will provide you direct access and instant access, rather, to your um, to your materials that you would need. Uh, also, visiting our website just um, to let you know, we are we do provide credits for GM, Ford, and Dodge for um, for HP tuners, and we do provide them through a discount to our customers. Um, so our credits go for 44.95, and so if you're interested, uh, that you can do through our website as well. Um, we do have a Facebook page, which is ERM Performance Tuning. Please drop in, say hello, leave a picture, you know, let us see your projects, um, any questions that you might have as well. And then our YouTube channel is at um, uh, this link here. And basically, we're asking that you subscribe, link to it, like it, share it, um, get it out there. There's a lot of information in there that we're providing to the community for free just because it's a little payback for um, what's happened. And then obviously you can visit me on HP Tuner Forum as well. I'm under the username Moten. I am a moderator and we are there to kind of help you. So I thank you for your time um, and look forward to working with each and one of you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.